السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Madian and Aika Madian and Aika were two cities on the coast of the Red Sea. They were very important cities in those times. Many ships crossed the sea and came there. In the ships came foreign merchants who bought beautiful things from other countries to sell in the market. The people of Madian and Aika bought those beautiful things. They loaded them on their camels and they travelled with their camels across the desert and sold the beautiful foreign goods to people in other cities. The people of Madian and Aika were very clever traders. They had big shops in the markets. The shops were always crowded. They had many camels to carry their goods to other places. Giving wrong measures. The trade made the folks of Madian and Aika very rich, but their riches made them proud. They forgot all about Allah. They started to cheat in their shops. They asked for high prices for their goods. They even used wrong weights and wrong measures. Allah did not like what they did. He sent the Prophet Shu'ayb to them. He told them not to cheat. The Prophet Shu'ayb said, Give measures and cause no loss to others. Wait with correct sales. Do not defraud people, meaning deceive or to cheat. With that is rightfully theirs. The leaders of the people laughed at the Prophet Shu'ayb. They said, Shu'ayb, we do not understand much of what you say. In fact, we see that you are powerless among us. Where? It not for your clan, meaning group of people, we would have stoned you. The cities fall apart. The Prophet Shu'ay warned the people of Madian and Aika not to give wrong measure and cheat people. He told them that what they were doing was wrong and must reform themselves. Allah waited for the people to listen to the Prophet Shu'ayb He waited for them to stop cheating. But the people of Madian and Aika did not bother about what... Prophet Shu'ayb said, Then a terrible thing happened. Allah sent an earthquake. The earth trembled. The houses shook. The walls crumbled. Stones from the walls and ceilings fell on the sleeping people. They were crushed to death. Only the Prophet Shu'ayb and good people were saved. Allah dislikes cheating. He dislikes lying. He loves people who do not cheat and do not lie. He loves honest and truthful people. Jazakallah khair for listening.